everyone, this is Lisa from the Rhinestone World and in this video I'm going to show you how to easily apply glitter heat transfer vinyl to a wood sign using your Silhouette Cameo and a home iron. Here's my sign. I got this from the craft store. This is 20 in, 28 inches wide and 11 and a half inches tall. So I cut my design to be about 18 and a half inches long. Basically to take up as much space on my piece of vinyl as I can. I was cutting without a mat so I needed to account for some extra space. So I'm just going to take a home iron and press down to this. Because I'm not applying this to clothes, all I need is enough heat and pressure to get it to stay on the wood. I don't have to actually put too much pressure that would keep it on a garment for a long time. So I'm just going to work my way down and put heat and pressure down. When you use a home iron like this, you'll notice that the carrier will buckle a little bit, maybe fold, curl. It just means that there's heat getting to it. Now, unlike actually ironing your clothes, you want to put pressure straight down. You don't want to go side to side with this. And you'll see little areas where it waves or folds and put pressure down on it again. Now I probably will need another press, but let's go ahead and lift this up to see how well it stayed. Now it's lifting a little bit, but that's totally fine. If you can get the majority of it to stay down, then you can smooth out the rest with your iron. So for the most part, we're pretty good. So I'm just going to use my iron and grab a cover sheet. I'm just going to use this protective cover sheet so I don't melt anything. And I'm going to bring my iron back down on these loose spaces. Now I'm just going to use my hand to kind of brush, see how it fits. All right, so I've applied my glitter HTV onto a sign. An easy project you can do maybe with some scrap HTV that you have, but a nice textured look that you can add to a more rustic sign using your Silhouette Cameo and our Caesar Glitter Heat Transfer Vinyl. If you have any more questions, you can email us at info at the rhinestoneworld.com. Hey everyone, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss any tutorials or project ideas.